This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It meant it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, everybody knows by now that Citadel was forced to take out a $400 million loan in order to stay afloat. And they even said they're going to be using it for trading, okay? They're going to be using it to help with trading. But they allege that they got $7 billion to give back, but they're going to, they, they need $400 million. But what a lot of people don't understand, because people are leaving me comments, because I talked about it yesterday, and they're like, all people take out loans. All entities take out loans. That is what they do. But it just seemed a little crazy to me that Citadel is going to have about $4 billion in debt, not counting the shares sold, not yet purchased. And nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about that. They talk about AMC's $5 billion in debt, but they don't talk about Citadel being more in debt than AMC. But here's the, here's the other thing that you guys need to understand. And this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion, my analysis of what I've seen. What you guys don't realize is Citadel is getting a high risk loan, like the worst percentage rate, the worst type of loan that you could get at $400 million. That is what Citadel is getting from Bank of America. That is like somebody with a 400 FICO score going to buy a car and they're charging them 36% interest because their credit is shot. They have defaulted on every single car loan that they've ever had in their life. So in order for them to get this car loan, they need to put down X amount of collateral. They need to jump through all these hoops. And on top of all that, the interest rate is outrageous. It's at the point where it might be considered usury. Okay. It might be considered usury. And that is what Citadel is doing. They're taking like, like a high risk auto loan, which means they fight the score is probably under 400. Okay? Nobody takes out loans like that unless they are desperate. If I go to a car dealership and they want to charge me an interest of 10%, I would not accept it. I wouldn't accept it. But for Citadel, to take out this high interest loan with Bank of America, that tells me they are desperate for the cash and they need the cash to keep the lights on. So all, all you got, well, I'm not going to say your shills because there's probably regular retail investors who don't see a problem with them taking out a $400 million loan. It's not just the loan and the timing of the loan. It's the type of loan it is. Is the highest interest rate loan in the market. The only people that take out loans like that is desperate people. Matter of fact, you know what's an even a better analogy? It's probably like a payday loan. <laughs> like, you know, those high interest payday loans with all the fees and stuff added to the top? <laughs> That's what Citadel has in comparison. They have a payday loan. Because the fees and the interest rate are totally out of control. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Would Citadel be taking out the equivalent of a payday loan if they weren't desperate for the cash? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.